Greetings Anonymous and greetings fellow Americans. Many of you are already well aware of the NSA's Unconstitutional Data Collection and Surveillance Program, PRISM. However, there are many who yet fail to see the real danger that is posed from such unthinkable actions being carried out by our government. Each passing day that we the people allow such tyranny to go unchecked, is precious time lost to ensure that our civil liberties and freedoms are not ripped away from us entirely. As Anonymous has exposed in recent media, under Operation NSA, it is plain to see that our government has, and will continue to lie, construe and otherwise try and cover up their illegitimate attempts at taking away our very rights as citizens of this country. There are those who would claim that they are not concerned if our government is collecting their personal data because they have nothing to hide. Sadly, those who would give this reasoning are not seeing the bigger picture that goes far beyond what they personally may or may not be comfortable sharing. Privacy plays a greater role in our overall freedom than most seem to remember. Let us take a brief look at a darker part of our world history. February 28, 1933 the German government, under the pretense of controlling the communists, abolished individual rights and protections, freedom of the press, assembly, and expression were nullified, as well as the right to privacy. On March 5, when the elections were held, the Nazis received nearly 44% of the vote, and with 8% offered by the conservatives, won a majority in the government. The Nazis moved swiftly to consolidate their power into a dictatorship. The number of lives lost to the Nazi war machine totals over 6 million deaths. More than 1 million of those deaths being that of children. Persecuted, under the banner of the very governments sworn to protect them. It is with this bitter part of our world history, that the bigger picture begins to become clearer. The Holocaust, happened to people just like us and not so long ago. It begins with the abolishing of our freedoms, the destruction of our very rights. This is not a potential threat that Anonymous is attempting to warn you of, this is an unthinkable act being carried out as you sit and listen to this message. It has already begun. There is no more time left to sit and ponder what action we will take, America. We have been idle for too long. A new age has dawned and under this one banner, this one idea, we can and do stand united. It is time to raise our voices as one. It is time to tell those who would see us fall, that we will remain standing. For every one of us that is silenced, ten more will raise our voices even louder. Until our voice is so loud that it simply cannot be ignored. Men, women and children have died for the very freedoms that our government is trying to take from us. We cannot and must not allow them to succeed. Lest all that has been fought for be in vain. Do not forgive, do not forget. We are all anonymous and we can. Correct the system failure. We must unite and stand together before it is too late. Do this. For the love of your family. For the love of your friends and of your country. Do not let this once magnificent country that our forefathers founded and fought for remain a fragment of its former glory any longer. You have asked what it is you can do to stop this. Anonymous has answered. The revolution is now, brothers and sisters. You are all a part of it. The fate of this country rests in our hands. Will you do nothing? Will you say nothing? Or will you unite with us? As this one voice. The choice is now yours. To go silently into the night and remain asleep or to awaken and answer the call. We are anonymous. We are legion. We do not forgive. We do not forget. It's too late to have expected us. This is our time. A time for freedom. We are taking it back. We are too many to be stopped. Our spirits too strong to be broken. We will rise victorious. Remember, remember. The 5th of November. The government treason and plot. We know of no reason, why the government treason, should ever, be, forgot.